Good morning. Good morning. To and and we're here. We're on the set for Tennessee Valley this morning. It's February the twelfth. Guess what? Today is my husband's birthday. <gasps> Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. Oh, we can't sing it. We'll get fined. You know, they're, we're not supposed to sing that song. But I'm Connie Wright. I'm here with co-host Lisa Mantooth. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, we're too perky in the morning. I've we're been way told that. too perky. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Maybe we need to start off softer like that. Good morning. Good morning. Wake up. Time to get up. Let's Time to go to school. Work. We know everybody's out there. You're getting all ready for work. You're getting ready for school. But have we got a fun show for you? I wish you had smell a vision. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Mm. Oh my gosh. We're going to be talking to Leslie Young of the Bakery Cottage. You're going to learn all about this place. I can't wait. I know. And, and oh my gosh. She's really left mm -hmm. these up here for us to be tempted. They are real. They are. They may not last yeah, through the end of the show, but they are real. They look delicious. Mm -hmm. So uh, we also have with us Natalie Holder, who is from Whispering Willow Spa. And they're both, mm -hmm. I know. Lisa, what'd you tell me when you walked in and you saw who this was This is gonna... my kind of show. Yeah, yeah. Lisa's it was like it was show. made for me. Food, yeah. relaxation. relaxation. You know, the only thing we don't have is music, and I thought about bringing mm. on some singing group. That would have been good for Valentine's, you know, getting ready, too. Maybe we'll think Valentine's. about that. Yeah. Well, getting ready for Valentine's. That's, That's why I have these beautiful little mm -hmm. cakes and strawberries and cupcakes mm -hmm. here. We're going to talk about surprises that you can give somebody for Valentine's. Uh -huh. Okay, surprise. Have you gotten your Valentine's ready? Uh, well, if Come I on. have, I can't say because I have someone with me in the studio oh, yeah, who doesn't right. need to know mm, if I right. have. So the answer is? Probably no. Not. no. <laughs> so the answer actually was no. So you don't, you don't have them ready yet, huh? Don't have anything ready. No. Do you remember when you were, or maybe you still do, mm -hmm. did you remember filling out the little Valentine's card? Yes, I do. Yeah. And we used to, at Hope Elementary School, because that's where I went to elementary school, we used to create out of shoe boxes, these little, these little Valentine boxes that we would decorate them and we Hearts. would put, you would come in yeah. and you would put in, and if you were lucky, because back then people didn't do elaborate candy and stuff like that at that age, it was just the little Valentine card. Mm -hmm. If you were lucky, you would get conversation hearts and you just thought <gasps> the one that says like me yes and then you, oh i should have brought mm -hmm. some of those today and we could, no mm -hmm. never mind mm -hmm. we'd, yes. we'd rather have these valentine cards. yeah the, the conversation hearts i remember those mm -hmm. and the little valentines the little boy the little girl mm -hmm. you know and they were so sweet yes. what do they have now everything mm -hmm. what are you what are you boys and girls out there you probably some of them right now are probably sitting down at the coffee table mm -hmm. and they're writing to Sarah with an A or an H, and then <laughs> right, you got to figure out how to spell the name. How to spell the name. And Where's then, my list, Mom? And then, Where's and my list? And then they're list? writing love. No, they don't write love. Oh, eh, eh, no, eh, no love. No love. What are we liking? I mean, what are we loving? From. From. Oh, they're too young to love. Oh, excuse from. me. From. From. From Michael from. or from 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 uh, Spencer. I was going to say that, and I was afraid he might jump on the set and get From me. Spencer. So, it's not Sarah, is it? No. Oh, good. I didn't want to. I didn't want to alert anybody to anything there. So uh, Valentine's is a very special thing. You know how it got started? You have any no, idea? I don't. Do you? It was Saint Valentine. Uh, actually, he was a saint, and he was one. You know, we talk about Santa Claus, mm -hmm. who was a saint, saint, and you have Saint Patrick, mm -hmm. who was a saint. Um, and it, Valentine's was uh, Saint Valentine, Saint Valentine, Saint Valentine, and he was a very loving and a very giving person. And so, you know, it is interesting. Don't want to get into uh, those things we're not supposed to talk about. But you know, people, a lot of people say, "Oh, let's take out the religious mm -hmm. undertones to all our holidays." That's okay. how they started. Yeah. So we have no holidays. Yeah. Now think about that. If you take out all the the ones that had some sort of a religious background, mm -hmm. then we wouldn't have any holidays. We wouldn't have anything left. No. Nothing to celebrate. Nothing to celebrate. So, but, um, so I ask on Facebook, you know, I love Facebook. Yes. Lisa and I are on Facebook. If y'all yeah. aren't Facebook, get on, mm -hmm. like us. We're addicted. You know, we're addicted to it. And I asked on Facebook the other day uh, for some people to give me their unusual presents that they've either given or received 
for uh, Valentine's. And I got some answers back, mm -hmm. and, and uh, so I want to share just a couple yeah, of so them. Yes, I'd love to hear. Okay. Do you know on the uh, TV show NCIS that, yes. that uh, Abby, Love. What's, what's Abby's favorite animal? Do you know what I'm talking about? And you hug. I should. It's the hippo that goes. The hippo. Oh. oh. That, I didn't mean that to come out, I'm so sorry. That that makes a sound. <laughs> when I did like this, the I just automatically. Hippo. The noise making hippo, if you've ever watched NCIS. And so uh, one of the ladies that uh, used to live here in Cleveland, she's moved away, she lives up in the snowy areas now. But she wrote back and told me that her husband gave her a, the, the big hippo and he couldn't find one that made the, noise. the sound, the noise. And so he bought her a noise machine. So he bought her a whoopee cushion. Yeah, yeah to go with it. <laughs> and then he had, had to open it and then put that into in the, the so hippo she, so that she could squeeze it and get the That's definitely the unusual. Sound. That was one of them. Uh, another one that would uh, be kind of hard for most people to do, but one young lady um, had just been married. They'd been married about two years. They'd started having their family. She thought she was expecting, and so she waited until Valentine's to do the little test. Mm. And so she wrapped up the little test in a box and presented it to her husband on, on Valentine's. So I thought that was a That's kind of a fun, unique That's way to unique. tell Tell them yeah. we're having a baby. Yeah. So, um, what about you? Have you had any unusual or are there any Valentine's days that are just really just oh, no etched in your memory? No. And see, that's why I love to ask other people <laughs> because, uh, well, no, that's not true. Matter of fact, I'm going to be showing uh, some things in our last segment. We're going to mm -hmm. be talking about things that you can make for the children, and so I am going to show you a few of the things that I had get, gotten. Uh, through the holidays, uh, through for Valentine's, and show you how to make one. And uh, that's great. So that would be really neat from a little baby that could make sure. something like that. So we're going to be talking about that in our final segment. Mm -hmm. After we've talked with Natalie and after we've talked to Leslie, then we'll be talking about what you can do if you haven't already come up with something, uh, and you. Uh, we really want you to go to these places we're going to mm. suggest. But especially if you have children at home and the children are looking for something to make for grandma or maybe Aunt Susan or somebody like that. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're looking for is something oh, yeah, like that. that. Sounds good. So, but uh, I'll have to think of some, I know that um, I remember it was Sadie Hawkins. Mm -hmm. It wasn't Valentine's, but for Sadie Hawkins and David, since it's your birthday, you'll remember this, I'm sure anyway. Um, Sadie Hawkins is when the girls go out and try to get the guys to go to the dance. Mm -hmm. And so I was trying to catch him, and I had every girl at college watching out for him. And so he could go nowhere without somebody alerting me as to where he was. And poor David got tired. So you were a stalker? I was a stalker. <laughs> and he, if he were here right now, he would be going. Yes. Yes. Connie I, the stalker. I was the stalker. <laughs> uh, well, I met him our first day of college, and I knew, I knew. You know, you've heard love at first sight. Mm -hmm. Uh, this was love even at a distance Oh wow! from the very first day I met him. Now that was in the end of August. It took me until November to convince him that I was the one. So yeah, I was a stalker. I used to stand outside his dorm room. He was on the second floor uh -huh. um, and I used to throw little pebbles up at his window. And he would come, no, true story, and he would come to the window and he'd go, I can't come out now, I've got a physics test, you know, because he's yeah. real, you know, I'm the fun, let's have fun, and he's the real serious, smart one. I, can't, I, have, I have a physics test or a chemistry test, or I go, oh, but we, we won't be long, we'll just go get a milkshake, you know, and sure enough, he'd come down and we'd go get the milkshake, and so there's little pebbles being thrown at the window. So girls, if you're looking for somebody, Valentine's is coming up. <laughs> go after him. Go, go, go get him. So I'm you? sorry, I completely like train wrecked your story. <laughs> I know, I loved it. That was that was me. So, uh, so what else for Valentine's? What's going on? Um, Any parties you're going to? No, no, we don't. We're not really the party in type. Oh. <laughs> I know you are. It's just ball game type. Ball game type. Things. Wrestling ball matches, baseball games, basketball Boy, games. Boy, your guys did good a couple uh, yes, last week. Yes. What they yes. do? Well, uh, Spencer's been in a basketball tournament, and they're out now. Of course, it's all over now, but mm -hmm. I think they got third in the B team bracket or whatever. Yeah. But 
Um, but uh, Byron is wrestling for Lake Forest, and then he's wrestling for Bradley Pride in the AAU. That's great. And yeah, a couple of weeks ago, they went to Bristol, Virginia, got snowed in. That is where I met my husband. Sorry. You met him I trained, yeah, I yeah, saw him train. Side That's where I met my husband. Yeah. Bristol, Virginia got snowed in, completely unexpected, not planning on spending the night in Bristol, Virginia, but they did, but that's okay. Byron got runner-up in his weight class. Yeah. So I'm pretty excited about that. Byron is becoming quite the wrestler. Okay, that's great. Well, we've got just a few more minutes, so let's uh, let's think of uh, something else we can, can we do to wake people up this morning? Well, we could wake them into scariness by singing to them. Oh, that would be good. Okay, or you know what we could do? What? We could go to a break. And then they could get their coffee and come back and then it would be awake. Yeah, I'd like some coffee too. We'll so if you're coffee. out and about, come on by. Where's Joel when you need him? Oh, yeah. I know. So don't go away. We'll be back just a few minutes with Natalie Holder from Whispering Willow Spa. And I am ready to be relaxed. Logan Thompson, See you in a little while. Attorneys at Law have built a firm offering quality legal services to the people and businesses of Southeast Tennessee. We have achieved expertise in all areas of law in order to represent our clients in a manner they need, deserve, and have come to expect. Logan Thompson, with nine attorneys and an extensive and competent support staff, is available to provide representation in various legal areas, including family law, social security benefits, personal injury, criminal defense, workman's compensation, as well as business and complex litigation matters. At Logan Thompson, we have been building a tradition of legal services for over 40 years. We have developed the finest legal services and are proficient in providing you with representation you can trust. Give us a call at 423-476-2251 to schedule your free consultation. Kyle Motors. 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David, and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790-7100. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Ledford in Athens will save you at least 2,000 bucks. Don Ledford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. Featuring some of the South's most scenic views, the Mountain View Inn has been a landmark in the Cleveland community for over 40 years. Our executive guest quarters with flat screen TVs and excellent bedding will make any guest comfortable. Carrie's Restaurant is one of Cleveland's favorite with one of the best buffets around. Hello, and on behalf of the Hughes family, thank you for so many years of your business and your friendship. This segment of Tennessee Valley This Morning is brought to you by Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland and 2120 Chapman Road, Chattanooga. For your next new or previously owned vehicle, make it Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the better way to buy. Good morning. We're back for Tennessee Valley this morning here, February the 12th, two days away from Valentine's. Okay? And uh, I just want to know, have you got everything ready? 
You got your Valentine stuff ready? Because if you don't, have I got something for you. Men, listen up. Men, listen up. I, all you guys shaving, don't cut yourself, but I need you to stop right now, shaving cream on your face and everything. Come to the TV and listen. I've got Natalie Holder with us this morning. She is the owner, co-owner of Whispering Willow Spa. Mm -hmm. New place in town. Yes, we've been a business for two months now. Two, just, just two? Just two months. I'm so excited. Okay, tell us who you are, what you do, and I've just lost Lisa here all together. Yeah, She's, I'm, I'm, <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Talk to Lisa, tell her where you are, Natalie. Well, we are a newly opened day spa here in Cleveland, located off Georgetown Road in between uh, Southern Heritage Bank and Cleveland Middle School. Um, it is me and Sarah McKinnis, who is a massage therapist. She used to... Uh, own uh, Simply Massage off Inman Street and I'm an esthetician. I do facials and waxings and we met each other one day and we just thought, you know, let's do this together and let's partner and, you know, help each other build a business and just the right property came open and we grabbed it. So. And awesome. so you're on Georgetown. Yes. And you're between, in that shopping, that little mall there between the Cleveland Middle School and Southern Heritage? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes, so if you go to Westwood or if you're coming that way on Georgetown and you go past Westwood or Paul Huff, you, you Come turn back around and turn, turn back. Turn come back. Turn back. Come back. <laughs> okay. Now say what you are again. I am a licensed esthetician. Esthetician. What does that mean? I do facials and waxings. Cool. And we offer many different facials. Uh, my favorite are just the relaxing ones. Where Could we can... do one right here? Yes. Oh, that would we be so We can do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> but I also do microdermabrasion and some facial peels. And okay. my products are all organic, which makes me a little different in Cleveland. Um, they're mm. wholesome. They're actually edible. You know, I don't know if they would taste good, but okay. they work well. Okay, okay, but if you get them around the mouth or whatever, they're, they're tasty. They're lickable. They're <laughs> lickable. Ooh, ooh, that's a, they're lickable. Okay, that sounds good. So, um, we... And tell them again the name of it, where you are, and how they would get in touch with you, whether it's Facebook, phone yes. number, maybe give something like that out. Yes, um, we are located on Georgetown Road in between Southern Heritage Bank and uh, Cleveland Middle School. And uh, we're in the yellow pages under Whispering Willow Spa. We also have a web page, whisperingwillowspa.com. And then we're on Facebook as well. And uh, I love Facebook. Yes, we we promote our specials every day and try to you know send posts if we have openings. Um, Sarah is a very busy woman, and we actually just hired an extra massage therapist. Wow. So that's one two months started, mm -hmm. yeah. and you've already had to hire an extra yeah. massage therapist. Uh huh. And that we're hoping to uh, have a receptionist in the next few months as well. That so. is wonderful. So now those are your everyday things. Those are things that you do on a regular basis every day so mm -hmm. if somebody called for an appointment then you would talk with Natalie and find out what kind of things you would like done for you for mm -hmm. that appointment that you're coming but Valentine's two days away mm -hmm. what kind of it, it, hubby's out there and he says oh this sounds really neat I could I can go there and get my wife a gift certificate or he could go there to the whispering well he might enjoy it so uh, that's, that's right well yeah. we tried to uh, make it very easy for the gentleman out there we have already put in to place some spa packages, some options. We have a Kiss Me package, which is a mini facial and a half hour massage for $70. That would be kind of on the smaller end. And then we also, we have, we have a package we're very excited about for those who are really planning to take it to the next level, maybe pop the question, wow. and we are calling it Shut the Front Door. Oh my gosh, shut the that. front door! <laughs> because front door. Oh. we are gonna just lock down and Pull out the rose petals, the champagne, oh maybe some cupcakes, Ooh. and uh, just Strawberries. really uh, the sky's the limit as far as the services. And you know, it's really up to the gentleman what he wants to give us. So he could list. actually pop the question right there wow. at your uh -huh. place. Oh my gosh, uh -huh. that's exciting. And we have room available for couples massage where they can be side by side on a table or if they... And y'all were worried about me saying something risque. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is exciting. That is really neat. So uh -huh. we're, having, we're having a good time. Oh we're, my goodness. We're really excited about what the future holds. Wow. Good. Mm -hmm. wow. But you said you don't have a receptionist, so can people just pop by to get a gift certificate? Yeah, yes. Um, 
We would really prefer if you text us um, and let us know that you're coming and that way we'll have it ready and you're not having to wait for us. Okay. But we do keep a sign and a login that lets mm -hmm. you know when we'll be out mm -hmm. and you can sign the pad and let us know, mm -hmm. you know, what you're looking for and we'll call you back. Okay. What's your, what's a number that they can text you at? Uh, my, our cell phone number is 423-380-8118 and you can reach in any of us with that now I'm going to ask you to say it again very slowly because mm -hmm. here's what's happening at home. All these people right now are going, oh, yeah, and they're oh, shaving oh, and they're listening <laughs> and then they're like, oh my gosh, my notepad. I need Let me, something to write and on. Then, and then you know what happens? They're getting the pen out, mm -hmm. the pen that never fails, that there's no, right. can you tell them left-handed? That's no ink. Mm -hmm. So I want, are you ready? Okay. They said they're ready out there. Give it slowly again. Okay, 423-380-8118, and you'll reach any of our therapists with that number. And text and say that you want to come by and get a gift certificate for, for Valentine's. Yes. Specifically, since we're focusing, mm -hmm. on, focusing on Valentine's, but mm -hmm. for any, anything, yes. any of these things. Mm -hmm. uh, and if yeah. you're in a crunch um, and you call us and let us know and you're at your office and you can't leave and you forgot that it's Valentine's I Day. I hope that that's not going to occur no, because that it's never happened days <laughs> before Valentine's Nobody Day. Nobody will forget that. If you will let us know, odds are one of us can make it over to your office and bring them to you. And if you need that's help with a, with a little gift basket, you know, oh. we, we can help. So. Now, you're, I want to talk about your, the everyday things that you do. You mentioned mm -hmm. that you do the waxing and so forth. And, and while I was getting ready this morning, you know, I'm trying to put my makeup on, and I'm going, oh, I should have gone to Natalie, and then we could show you. Or now, actually, because I, well, go ahead and say, I've got the bushy eyebrows you see no, up there. Don't. Yes, I do. I've got, <laughs> I've got untamed. She just doesn't know I put uh, chapstick on them. You know, instead of chapstick for your lips, I also do a little chapstick and put them up to try to tame my eyebrows down because they're they're just going in all direct. Come on! This happens when you get to be my age, women. Um, you know, you see the man, right? You see the man with the bushy, you know, with the eyebrows that go up like, I have those. I have those. I guess the testosterone's kicked in or something when you get old like me. And they're just, and so I'm like having to grease them down. And so I'm thinking, I need to come to Natalie, and then we could do one and the other, and then we could just show it on air and, and show the difference. That would really, then I'd really look strange walking around, but who cares? I look strange anyway. Okay. So what other kinds of things? You do the uh, waxing? Mm -hmm. Okay. I also do uh, a very popular service is lash tinning. Um, a lot of people have never heard of that. And um, I just take this little solution, much like mascara, and paint it on your eyelashes, leave it on for a few minutes, and then you have naturally black eyelashes. Can I just come on by later today? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'll be by yes, later today to get, wow, I will look so different. What other kinds of things now? We, um, we uh, the massage therapists do body wraps, scrubs, um, pregnancy massage, which is if you're, if your loved one is pregnant, mm -hmm. it's priceless what a massage can so do. So that doesn't and have can, to be Valentine's Day. Yes, and I can say that when I was pregnant with my first son, I had pregnancy massage. I started out once a month, and then as I got further and further along, I started going every two weeks and then every week. And I'm telling you, that wow. was amazing how much better it mm -hmm. made me feel. Wow. And mm -hmm. it wasn't just that I was being pampered. I mean, it really does have benefits, mm -hmm. health benefits. Right. So, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. So you've got the table with the belly that you cut off the belly. Uh -huh. It's the only time that when I was like six, seven, eight, nine months pregnant, I could lay on my stomach because there's a <laughs> hole in the, and in the table. You, and that's what you have? Well, we don't exactly have, don't that, have that table, table, but we have the, the pillows. Oh, that go around you. Yeah. To, yeah. to where you can, yeah. I don't want to uh, demonstrate, but um, yeah, yeah, you yeah, definitely right. can right. open those hips up and let you yeah, relax. Right. And That's good too. Good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. It's, it's really amazing. When I was pregnant, that that's what mm -hmm. helped me sleep at night. Oh, yeah. it's and you got what two now, Natalie? Two, two, two little girls. <laughs> Natalie and I uh, know each other. We go all the way back to high school. Um, her high school, <laughs> not not my high school. Uh, you went to school with uh, my son. Uh huh. You went to school with Dane. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it sounded. I tried to make myself feel younger. You know, we went to high school together. <laughs> so I remember marching band, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. I was Good that times. band mom for eight years. Good times. It was yeah, yeah. 
sure is. So any other things mm -hmm. that you want to tell us again, where you're located, all about the well, specials I'm, that you have or anything like that? Yeah, uh, we, my facials, um, I really cater them to you. You know, if you book an hour facial, which an hour facial, hour massage is $50. We just leave it at that to keep it simple. Um, if you come in and you're, you don't know what service, you know, what facial would be best for you, you know, just put it in my hands and I'll do whatever you need and whether it be exfoliation or if you need a little peel that day or some Extra. Now, explain to me about what the peel does. I've heard people say that they got the chemical peel. Uh -huh. What is what does the peel do? The the <clears throat> peel is um, it's just a deeper exfoliation. You know, you can do different things. You can do the microdermabrasion, which is very just surface level. Mm -hmm. uh, the facial peel I prefer because it's actually absorbed into the skin and works from the inside okay. out, um, and it just it it. There's a whole smooth, smooth the yeah, skin and yeah. There's okay. a whole chemistry thing about it, but it really mm -hmm. just smoothing. It tightens, it tones, it helps with dark spots. Um, okay. If you're like me and you get freckles in the summer, it helps okay. with that and the wrinkles and all that stuff. Okay. And anything else you want to tell us? We just got another another minute or so, so we want to make uh, sure that we get everything in from Whispering Willow Spa. And that again, just sounds I know, it relaxing. Sounds I should I'm say it this way. Whisk, I'm going to Whispering, Whispering Willow Willis. today. Well, yeah. that when you walk in, it mm -hmm. is a very instant relaxation place. We made it to where when you walk in, you're just kind of like, oh. you know, that's what we wanted. We wanted you to start relaxing the moment you walked in that's the door. Beautiful. Sounds amazing. <laughs> okay. Well, thank thank you, Natalie, for coming. We're thank really you. really excited to have you here and to tell us about your Valentine's specials and mm -hmm. and the other things that she does year round mm -hmm. and. Uh, so that's Whispering Willow Spots on what address, Georgetown? Yes, it's 3757B Georgetown Road. Okay, how about giving us that number again slowly yes. and uh, Facebook or anything you want to give us? It is 423-380-8118 and you can find us on Facebook and we also have a webpage, whisperingwillowspa.com. And uh, Lisa, I think you and I need to go um, make our I appointment. Think I will be visiting very soon. <laughs> okay. So we thank you for being with us. And this right here, did you notice all this now? Like, yeah. Oh Can you smell gosh. it? Yes. We're going to be talking with <laughs> Leslie Young from the Bakery Cottage in just mm -hmm. a minute. And uh, some of these may be gone by the time okay. we get back. They might not be back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, okay. We'll see you in a, in a few minutes. Don't go away because we will be sitting right here. Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Donald for Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here. Doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Ledford in Athens will save you at least $2,000. Don Ledford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David, and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790-7100. Logan Thompson, attorneys at law, have built a firm offering quality legal services to the people and businesses of Southeast Tennessee. We have achieved expertise in all areas of law in order to represent our clients in a manner they need, deserve, and have come to expect. Logan Thompson, 
with nine attorneys and an extensive and competent support staff, is available to provide representation in various legal areas, including family law, social security benefits, personal injury, criminal defense, workman's compensation, as well as business and complex litigation matters. At Logan Thompson, we have been building a tradition of legal services for over 40 years. We have developed the finest legal services and are proficient in providing you with representation you can trust. Give us a call at 423-476-2251 to schedule your free consultation. Featuring some of the South's most scenic views, the Mountain View Inn has been a landmark in the Cleveland community for over 40 years. Our executive guest quarters with flat screen TVs and excellent bedding will make any guest comfortable. Carrie's Restaurant is one of Cleveland's favorite with one of the best buffets around. Hello and on behalf of the Hughes family, thank you for so many years of your business and your friendship. This segment of Tennessee Valley This Morning is brought to you by Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland and 2120 Chapman Road, Chattanooga. For your next new or previously owned vehicle, make it Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the better way to buy. Good morning, Tennessee Valley. Welcome to uh, Good Morning, Tennessee Valley. We're here. It's February the 12th. I'm here with Lisa Mantooth, my co-host, and I'm so excited for this segment. <laughs> we have Lisa Young from the Bakery Cottage. The Bakery Cottage. Mm -hmm. And I have been sitting here. I've done really well, haven't I? I've yes. done really well. May I please, I mean, the, this, go ahead before we even talk. You, go you for it. Okay. Go for it. Okay. This is a chocolate covered strawberry. Tell me about it while I'm nibbling. Tell me. Um, well, we, we do different ones. That one has um, pecans on it. And we do um, white chocolate strawberries. Mm -hmm. White chocolate? Mm -hmm. And also uh, we can do a dark chocolate depending on what your taste is. Mm -hmm. This is wonderful. <laughs> this is why I wanted the bakery cottage to be on today because I want you to know that you can go there and get something for Valentine's. You've only got Two days left. Will you be open on uh, Wednesday? Yes, we're You're open Wednesday, on? Thursday, Friday, seven to four. Okay. Um, and around holidays, we're usually open on Saturday between eight and twelve. Okay. Just for those. But last for Valentine's things. Day, being being uh, Wednesday, you'll be oh, you'll yes. be there, right? Right. Okay. Tell them tell tell us a little bit about what you have for Valentine's special. I know that what she's done for Valentine's is a little bit different than what you normally do, but tell us what you have for Valentine's if hubby or grandma or somebody needs to come and get something for a Valentine's gift. Okay, um, well, we, I brought with me a strawberry cake for two. You can um, get mm. on Valentine's Day, I will have those made up. Normally, I sell by the slice, um, and um, I have the chocolate Don't let that fall in her lap now. <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm trying to let the viewers see. Mm and the chocolate covered strawberries and we'll have the raspberry fudge cupcakes. Okay. Um, it's a chocolate cake with a raspberry filling oh, and goodness. a cream icing and then the strawberry, I mean the raspberry drizzle. Mm. Um, that just, uh. And those are sold <laughs> individually or by the dozen. Okay. Um, if you want to have more than a dozen or a dozen, it's preferred that you order ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, they need to call today. If you're going to be getting a big order, mm -hmm. you need to go ahead and call her. Right. Okay. Um, but we will have some of those things made up for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. um, normally, those are just by pre-order. Okay. So, well, tell me a little bit about the Bakery Cottage. Where are you located, Leslie? Um, we're behind Hardy's off of Paul Huff Parkway. It's directly behind. There's a little plaza there next yeah. to the um, pack and ship okay. by the UPS store. By the UPS. Okay. And um, we've been there for two years. Wow. And um, we do mostly custom mm -hmm. cakes okay. for parties. Um, I've done several weddings. Um, we, we have a lot of breakfast items like um, sausage rolls or cherry ah. turnovers. Now, we could have taken one this morning. I mean, we wouldn't have minded that. 
Um, and we do have a little bit of um, lunch items. We have a soup featured. I saw that, I'm, again, I'm going to say this on Facebook, that you had a soup the other mm -hmm. day. Uh, you had, had mentioned what the soup was for the day. Yeah, it changes each week. Okay. I just try to have a variety. Um, and then we have like chicken salad sandwich. Um, and you have little, you have a couple of little tables in there. It's mm -hmm. not a very big place, but you do have a couple of tables where they could sit mm -hmm. if they wanted to, or they could take it back to the office. Is right. that kind of we, what you do? Mm -hmm. We do have um, seating for eight, um, and we've had parties of people come in and pull the tables together so they can all be in one place and yeah. um, have their lunch or just come and get dessert. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then mostly to go. Okay. They call and... So what kind of a, you've shown us what you have for Valentine's, but when I was in there, you had, oh my gosh, all these different kinds of cakes and, mm -hmm. and cookies and things. So what kinds of things do you fix? Um, we have a lot of layered flavored cakes. Um, each week is a different um, selection of cakes. Okay. I, my case isn't real big, uh -huh. so I rotate out the flavors of the cakes. Mm -hmm. That okay. way you have a chance to try okay. different ones. Okay. Um, and since I sell by the slice, you can buy one or two or three different ones. So you sample. literally can come in and get it by the slice mm -hmm. as your as your dessert for the day. Right. Right. And um, I have cookies, um, specialty flavored cookies, and I do traditional cookies too. Uh -huh. um, like some of the special ones are cream sickle or almond cookies. Mm. Um, we have a pretzel cookie. It's a has three different kinds of chocolate chips in it and pretzels, and then it has sea salt on it. So it's a salty and sweet kind of oh cookie. Oh my goodness! Oh, that sounds good. How mm -hmm. did you get into this? I've known you for <laughs> twenty. Let's see. Twenty something <laughs> years. Yeah. Uh, I, I did not know that you were a baker when I knew you back then. I don't mm -hmm. know why. Were, did you bake all that back then? I mean, you were a into lot baking? Of, a lot of the flavors have come from customers' requests. Yeah. Um, but I have those that I've baked for my family all their lives that I do at the shop. Yeah. Um, but I did a lot of stuff at the church. I cooked the meals at the church. Okay. Um, and I had cooked for um, big groups on mission trips that were gone for months at a time. Okay. And so I've always kind of baked always life been anyway. into baking and I love to it. do it so then what <laughs> made you say I want I want to start I want to open my shop well I did a lot of baking for friends and neighbors they had company coming or someone was ill right and I did a lot of that and my friends and family kept saying you should try to do a shop you know right. and so I prayed about it and God led me to the location where we are and it's just all worked out that's exciting. That is what wonderful. are some of your favorite cakes that you get the most requests for? Um, well, the carrot cake is a popular cake. Mm -hmm. um, the Italian cream. That would I be sell my a lot favorite. Of. I was that would be my favorite. I was waiting yes. for her to say that. Yeah. <laughs> that would be yeah. my yeah. favorite. <laughs> um, another one that's a very popular is a coconut surprise. It's a different version of the traditional coconut, but it, I sell a lot of that. Uh -huh. um, some of my favorites is uh, tiramisu. Oh, well, I like my that goodness. Too. And yeah. um, it's a little different than the tra traditional, but uh -huh. I like it a lot. It's real light and creamy. Uh -huh. um, and then Almond Joy, if you like a chocolate mm -hmm. lover. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it has a, a chocolate fudge icing and toasted almonds mm -hmm. on it and coconut, of course. Wow. Um, and the blueberry cream is also a big popular blueberry cream. cake. Um, it's real light. How do we cream. know what you're having for the week? Like uh, mm -hmm. when you said that you your shop is small, so you have to rotate what you fix. How do I know um, what you're having for that particular week? If I um, just I, come in, I get on Facebook at the beginning of the week and okay. post the soup. What we're going to see, have. guys. If you're not on Facebook, you need mm -hmm. to y'all need to get on Facebook yeah. if you're not. Because look at all this advertising that's going on on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but I post the soup of the week, um, any of the breads that we're going to have that week. Mm -hmm. um, I rotate out breads also, different kinds of loaves that I make, and so I post on there what the, what we're going to have that week wow. and the cake flavors. Wow. If I've done any um, featured items, like a new item, mm -hmm. I also put that on there, and I usually try to put a picture with it so you to get know your what mouth to water look for. <laughs> get the mouth water. Yeah. 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 That's great. Um, and 
Um, the phone number, of course. I mean, that's the two ways. Okay. What is your phone number? Yes. Look at, let's see if we can, I know um, you might, <laughs> don't, don't want to make you nervous there. You're doing great on TV. Yeah, yeah. Get, yeah. Tell them who you are, where you're located, mm -hmm. and how they can contact you. Okay. I'm Leslie Young with the Bakery Cottage. Um, it's located right behind Hardy's off of Paul Huff Parkway. And the phone number is 423-464-1500. Uh, and uh, we're also on Facebook. Um, you can search it for the Bakery Cottage. And in Cleveland, Tennessee. In Cleveland, they're Tennessee. Wide <laughs> yes, there are several Bakery Cottage. Right. But the, this, the, and I'm the doing that cottage. right now. Yeah. And let me tell you, there are like 12 Bakery Cottages. So, so make sure you do, if you the do it, Bakery Cottage in Cleveland. Bakery cottage. Under the search bar. Right. Yeah. And then it'll take you right to our site. And give that phone number again. Uh, like I was telling Leslie, I mean, excuse me, not Natalie, just kind of give it slowly for people to, mm -hmm. as I say, for older people like me to write it down. <laughs> um, it's 423-464-1500. Uh, okay. Awesome. So, so they can go. Uh, boyfriend could come in and get, you know, I, I don't, I'm not knocking flowers. Flowers are wonderful. But wouldn't this be a total surprise for the girlfriend or for the wife to come in with something like this? I mean, it, it's just something yeah. totally, it's something you don't just think about. Mm -hmm. And I just think that's a great idea. <coughs> um, yeah, it smells so hubby. good. Yeah, I know. We're sitting here and we do, we're just getting a whiff of it. It is absolutely smells wonderful. It's heavenly. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. And so we come in, we could, Lisa and I could come in and we could just get the sliced mm -hmm. uh, cake mm -hmm. and, and uh, lunch. Lisa, we need to go. We there need to go soup. for lunch. Yes, soup, and we sell uh, coffee and a few cold drinks. So okay. you, you know, so we could come and and pull those tables together and get six of our yeah. other friends and pull it together for a table of eight. Let's see, who could we get? To, oh, mm. uh, we'll we'll talk about that later. <laughs> I'm already planning my my get together here. So, and mm. what are your hours again? You mentioned that there were they were limited hours later in the week that you're mm -hmm. that you're open on a regular mm -hmm. basis. And what are they? Um, we're open Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, 7 to 4. Um, people can call and pre-order whole cakes mm -hmm. and if they need to pick up during a time that I'm not open, I make arrangements to meet with them so they can get it at the proper time. Okay. Um, and the the other days of the week, I'm busy baking, baking. for the orders. <laughs> so, so she's literally baking mm -hmm. on those. But if you called on a Monday or a Tuesday, does it go to a voicemail that you could leave a message or? No, I, I, I answer every call. Okay, so you would answer, mm -hmm. but you're baking so they can't just come in. So mm -hmm. if they wanted to talk to you about a special, maybe a, a birthday surprise, mm -hmm. my husband's birthday's today. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> we, we can make an appointment to come in and discuss what you might oh, really? want um, wow. and make arrangements. Well, you for also the mentioned order. something that I wasn't aware of. You do weddings, so they could come in and talk to you about what mm -hmm. they wanted for their wedding. Mm -hmm. um, we haven't really done traditional types of wedding cakes, okay. but people have used the flavors and the style of cakes that we have mm -hmm. okay. to uh, fit their weddings. Absolutely. Um, and like you see there, the cupcakes that I brought mm -hmm. uh, were a request um, for a wedding. We do traditionally the big round layered of that flavor, oh, but wow. she wanted cupcakes, so we did the flavors of the big People cake. People have really gotten cupcake. away a lot from the big, uh, the big the wedding cake. The traditional. Yeah. I know that my uh, daughter and son-in-law, when they got married, didn't have a cake at all. They had um, the little Chinese what are the fortune cookies that you break open because that's one of the ways that was something that was special in their relationship was what his fortune said to to prompt him to go and ask her out so uh, mm -hmm. just always thought that was neat so there's mm -hmm. different things that you can do mm -hmm. so we're excited that we've had with us Leslie Young and again gosh I've known how many how many kids do you have three three oh mm -hmm. my gosh and they've all grown up Mine have all grown up. Mm -hmm. They just, I, that is unbelievable how time goes by. And I, I think I just walked in your shop mm -hmm. uh, and I said, hey, I, I kind of like, we're, we weren't in the store, we were in your shop. And I went, hey, I know you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how we kind of got reconnected there. So please go to the bakery cottage. Like uh, the address is actually Bur Burnham. 122. Burnham Drive. Okay, but it's it's off of Paul Hub, mm -hmm. behind the Hardee's, uh, and off to the side there from where you the Denny's is. Go through the Hardee's parking lot. 
Yes, to get so you to can it. turn into the Hardee's and mm -hmm. drive straight back to the bakery cottage. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Th Leslie, thank you so thank much you. for being here. And so I can't much. wait till we're off air because I'm tearing in this stuff. I'm going to devour. So, thank you. We'll be back. Lisa and I are going to be back in a few minutes. And we're going to talk about some special little things that you can make or do for your grandkids, for your children, some things uh, maybe that they can do to help, help uh, surprise mom or dad for Valentine's. We'll see you in a few minutes. Don't go away. Logan Thompson, Attorneys at Law, have built a firm offering quality legal services to the people and businesses of Southeast Tennessee. We have achieved expertise in all areas of law in order to represent our clients in a manner they need, deserve, and have come to expect. Logan Thompson, with nine attorneys and an extensive and competent support staff, is available to provide representation in various legal areas, including family law, social security benefits, personal injury, criminal defense, workman's compensation, as well as business and complex litigation matters. At Logan Thompson, we have been building a tradition of legal services for over 40 years. We have developed the finest legal services and are proficient in providing you with representation you can trust. Give us a call at 423-476-2251 to schedule your free consultation. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David, and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790-7100. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Ledford in Athens will save you at least 2000 bucks. Don Ledford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. Featuring some of the South's most scenic views, the Mountain View Inn has been a landmark in the Cleveland community for over 40 years. Our executive guest quarters with flat screen TVs and excellent bedding will make any guest comfortable. Carrie's Restaurant is one of Cleveland's favorite with one of the best buffets around. Hello, and on behalf of the Hughes family, thank you for so many years of your business and your friendship. This segment of Tennessee Valley This Morning is brought to you by Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland and 2120 Chapman Road, Chattanooga. For your next new or previously owned vehicle, make it Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the better way to buy. Oh, mm -hmm. we, um, sorry, we just ate the rest of the strawberries sorry. and uh, some of the cupcakes. We're delicious. Yes. That, actually, she was choking. They were so um, good there. You gonna be okay? Yes. Oh my gosh, that was wonderful. That's exactly what I needed. I know. That's just what you need on a morning to wake you up with all that sugar. Mm. So that was yeah. great. So it was a show just for you today. I think that I was the person in mind when you created and I decided who you I, were having. I know. I know. It was perfect. Well, the third person that I was hoping might be able to come is mm -hmm. a grandma. And she has seven grandchildren, but wow. she wasn't able to be with us. Guess why? 
grandchildren. A little too busy. Yeah, she really is one of the busiest people that I know of. And so I thought it would be kind of fun for us to talk about something that you can either make for, mm -hmm. the child can make for grandma or grandmother. You can actually, if you have the children with mm -hmm. you, you can make something special for mom or for dad mm -hmm. or for somebody else. Um, even, you know, it doesn't even have to be a mom or a dad. There's so many people that are in uh, assisted livings and nursing homes right now that would appreciate if you made something and took, took something to them. Yeah. One of my very favorites, I told you I was bringing one here. I am a grandma too. I have a little uh, year old grandson. And so when you're looking for something to do for a year old, mm -hmm. just a year old, this says, Micah loves you. And what, what my daughter did was she just got one of these little uh, things that you can buy at the little um, hobby shops mm -hmm. in different places, Michael's Hobby Lobby in different places like that, with the canvas stretched across it. And what she did was she took stickers, mm -hmm. letters and stickers, and she put the words mm -hmm. on there. And then she let the baby, just tiny little baby, sit there with his bib on at, at the high chair and just have fun with paint. Oh, wow. That's awesome. So all he was doing was just mm -hmm. sitting there with the texture for the, for the baby to rub, to rub his fingers through. And, of course, he used the purple, a little bit of blue, and some That's yellow awesome. there. And uh, so it's just, and he just had fun holding it. I got some of the fingerprints are on the back of it here. And this is something that I will treasure. Absolutely. Absolutely treasure, just mm -hmm. knowing that he had fun playing with this for, for probably 20, 30 minutes. He just yeah. sat there rubbing his hands through this. And again, the letters were stuck on there. Oh, wow. So when the paint dried, peeled them off. she just peeled the letters right off, and it comes out with Michael Loves You. Mm -hmm. And so um, that's something you could use. You could put hearts on there. You could put whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Something very, very simple. Well, the best gifts are always handmade. I really think so. They really are. I really they think really so. Are. So if you're out there, and I know economy is tight right now. I know it is at our house. Mm -hmm. And if you're thinking, oh, I need to get something for Valentine's, see about making something like oh, yeah. that. You know, I mean, it, here we're looking at a little year all making mm -hmm. this. But <coughs> an older child mm -hmm. could really make something. Here's another like one. What's this? Tell us what this is. Okay. This was his handprints. Oh. You what could do it? feet. Right. I have some friends and they have a little baby that's just uh, a matter of weeks old and I bet that they could do that for the grandparents. Right. They could put baby's feet, baby's hands on it. <coughs> and you can just put Valentine's or in this case it was Micah's best granddaddy hands oh. down. We don't want the other granddaddy to ever see that but I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure he got one just like it. Yeah, but, but that's, that's, that's really concept. nice. And it's notice, the same. It's the same. It's one of those. Right canvas and notice that it's not perfect look the little hands he was tiny little baby smearing his hands around mm -hmm. but that's a concept that we oh, will yeah. love forever yeah and and one day he will look at this and go my hands were that small oh, that's right yep he will that's really nice i like that i like that pick up that chalk there behind you okay what do we got here well okay you know how we like to have fun with chalk sidewalk chalk sidewalk chalk why not either you mm -hmm. <coughs> This is the totally different reverse of the uh -huh. children playing in it. You write Happy Valentine's oh, Day cool. when they come home from school. That is very nice. I like that idea. That's <coughs> really good. So, I know that, you know, for my kids, you know, we we don't typically buy anything. We don't typically do anything uh, along so, that that range. So, yeah, this or usually I'll bake cookies and frost <coughs> them or something like that and that <coughs> that makes my kids super happy. So, right. yeah. Yeah, I like that idea. That's a good one. What are we going to do with the pot holder? Isn't this a cool idea? Pot holder. I asked on Facebook to give mm -hmm. me some ideas. One of them said, okay, we're going to do this right now. Okay. Okay, okay lay your hand. Well, your hands My hands big. are big. Okay, I'll do mine. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay our hand right down on the, on the pot holder. Move Micah so we don't get him marked up. And then you're just going to draw... Or if you have paint and you just want to put the paint right down on here mm -hmm. on the hand, you can do this and put the child's handprint right on there. Oh. oh. And again, huh, Michael wondering if his hand was ever that little. <laughs> Connie's hand is still little. Can't Connie, Connie. Uh, so get you some inexpensive little pot mm -hmm. holders. I don't know if they'd want me advertising or not. But that would be, mm -hmm. these were great because they were playing on one side. Oh, yeah. This is, you know. But um, 
do that and then you can either color you can uh, put with magic marker you can write in there you know Connie loves grandma or you can write grandma loves Susie or whatever and that that's another little idea that you've got there. I like that that's great so. Now, I taught preschool for many, many years, and some of you out there, hopefully I had, and, and you will remember. And we used to do a lot of little fun things mm -hmm. during that time, that um, Valentine's. Well, what in the world can you do with a potato for Valentine's? What do you think okay. you could do with a, with a potato for Valentine's? I have no idea. Potato soup. Okay, somebody said potato soup okay. out there. Well, you could make potato soup. The other thing you could do is cut it in half. Mm -hmm. Then you take a little knife and you cut the design, now, moms or dads have to do this, of the heart oh, or a letter. Uh -huh. And then you dip that, in, <clears throat> you dip that yeah, into paint. Yeah. <laughs> and then when you put it down and you hold it up, then it's a stencil. Mm. So it was a pretty That's pretty a very good stencil. idea. So it was a stencil to do. You could make pancakes. Pancakes is something that I like to do. You said heart and reminded me yes. of pancakes. Sometimes I try to be creative, and I'm not the most creative person in the world, but I can make hearts out of pancakes. How you do can you also do that? do that. I've wondered how you do you that. You just literally <clears throat> ladle it out in the shape of a heart. So you have and then you, you don't fill it, it in, in the middle. No, you I ladle, ladle it, it out. Okay, tell me again how to do this because okay. I am making these okay. Tuesday morning. You just literally you ladle uh, them out Thursday. in a heart. What day is Valentine's? Um, uh, I'm not sure. I think it's the Friday. 14th. Well, today's the 12th. It's 14th. Okay. Okay. Go. So you're just going to ladle it out in, okay. the, in the exterior part of the heart. So you let that then, start cooking. Mm -hmm, and then you fill it in the middle. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. And you can cut uh, bread in the shape of a heart and make French toast that way as well. That's a good idea. So, right? yes. Yeah. Okay. So that would um, be a good, that's a good inexpensive Valentine's morning for your kids. That's right. Send them off with. Valentine's pancakes. Full of love. And you could put chocolate chips over them, Full maybe some love. fresh strawberries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kids would love that. Yeah. Um, I didn't have a chance to do this. I was going to try to do this before I came, but you can take your coffee filters and you do, um, you can use uh, magic, mar not magic marker, um, Crayola markers, mm -hmm. you know, those kind of things. Put them on here, wet it down just a little bit with spray bottle and the colors spread mm -hmm. and they, they go all out. Mm -hmm. Bring them up like this. Twist them, mm -hmm. put them on and a little a stem, and you can make a whole bunch of flowers. Oh. If you wanted to make them red or pink, you could make a whole nice. dozen roses. That's pretty. So, isn't that cool? Those are great ideas. And for then kids. the one thing that I never see anymore old fashioned doilies. Doilies. They have them at the local discount store. Yeah. Them. So please run by, get the a little doilies. You know, put put a biscuit on it mm -hmm. uh, for, for, uh, for dinner or just. Uh, you know, do something special with them. You can write inside them. Mm -hmm. But we hardly ever see doilies anymore, and that's mm -hmm. just so so festive and so mm -hmm. special at Valentine's. It is. I want to thank you for being with us today. Again, Valentine's yeah. is coming up, so we hope that you will tell someone special how mm -hmm. you love them. Uh, again, there are people all around just walking on the street. What if you walk by by them and just said, "Hey, man, I love you." I don't know. No, that I, I don't would think go so. That far. I'm maybe, gonna try that today. Maybe just Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, I hope okay. you're having a great day. So we would try Happy Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. I hope you had a great day. Is that what you think I should say? Yeah, I don't know that I would just tell a stranger on the street that you love. So them. you're not going to be with me when we go to the bakery cottage. When you I know, yell out and but, tell but you people, you know her. Like, you don't. Oh well, I was just going to yell out at anybody. No. Maybe at the. Okay. Well, no. Lisa's just such a party pooper. But anyway, I'm glad she's with me. Lisa and I always have fun when we host uh, Tennessee Valley Good Morning uh, this morning and in the morning. In the morning. In the morning. The to early morning. Early morning. And we're glad you're with us, and we hope that you will do something special for Valentine's, whether it's uh, for your neighbor, for mm -hmm. somebody that, uh, your child, for a teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, so just Maybe even somebody in the nursing home. I think that's a great idea. So... Be sure to spread some love and uh, mm -hmm. happy Valentine's. Happy Valentine's Day, soon. everybody. Bye bye.